In this video, we will look at solving problems that involve the area of a rectangle. You might remember that if you have an area with a width and a length, we calculate the area by simply multiplying the width times the length. Often, to help visualize the rectangle, we'll find it might be easier to draw a picture to get us started. Let's take a look at some problems that involve the area of a rectangle. In this first problem, we've got a rectangle where the length is 2 feet longer than the width. If the width is x, the length being 2 feet longer would be x plus 2. We're also told that the area is 48 square feet. To calculate area, we multiply the width times the length. x times x plus 2 will equal the area, which we're told is 48. To start this problem off, let's distribute the x through, giving us x squared plus 2x equals 48. We can now solve this equation by either f completing the square, or we could make it equal to 0 and then factor or use the quadratic formula. All three methods work on this problem, and you can use whichever method you prefer. You might notice that this one is set up to use to complete the square because the variables and exponents are already separated. We just have to find c, which is 1 half of b or 2 squared. Half of 2 is 1, squared is 1. We can easily add 1 to both sides and factor the equation. It becomes x plus 1 squared equals 49. We can quickly solve by taking the square root of both sides, and x plus 1 equals plus or minus 7. To get the variable alone, we subtract 1, and we find out x is equal to negative 1, plus or minus 7. Considering our two possible answers, one where we add and one where we subtract, negative 1 plus 7 is 6, and negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8. However, it would not make sense to have a negative dimension on our rectangle. So x, the width, must be 6th, and the length is x plus 2, or 6 plus 2, which is 8. We have a 6 foot by 8 foot rectangle. Let's take a look at another problem, which gives us a rectangle and the area, and we're asked to find the dimensions. In this problem, we're told the area is 72, but we're also told the length is 6 more than the width. If the length is x, or I'm sorry, the width is x, the length would be 6 more, or x plus 6. To find the area of 72, we'll multiply those two values together. x times x plus 6 must equal the area of 72. Again, we'll distribute the x, giving us x squared plus 6x is equal to 72. Again, from this point, you can either make it equal to 0 and solve by either factoring or using the quadratic formula. However, you also might notice that because the variables and numbers are separated, we're ready to complete the square by finding c, which is 1 half of b, or 6, squared. Half of 6 is 3 squared is 9. We simply need to add 9 to both sides to get the equation x plus 3 squared, when we factor the left side, equals 81. Taking the square root of both sides, we end up with x plus 3 equals plus or minus 9. Subtracting 3, tells us x is equal to negative 3, plus or minus 9. We could do the plus or the minus to find out x is equal to 6, or negative 12. Of course, we can't have a negative measurement on our rectangle, so we get x equals 6. This is our width. The length is 6 plus 6, or 12. We have a 6 centimeter by 12 centimeter rectangle. Again, we can solve by either completing the square, quadratic formula, or factoring as we set up our equation.